The cultural explorations trip is a traveling seminar where you have some scholars who are very familiar with the subject matter and the places that are being visited. And then you have a small group of people who are interested in those things, and many of them already have a considerable amount of knowledge about archaeology. And you run a continuing discussion through the trip. One of the things that makes the trip work so well is that the leaders are people who really know the territory, who know the sites, know the literature, know the native traditions, and are excited to talk about these, to share what they know with people who themselves are usually quite accomplished in their own fields. I've learned from being a leader on these trips, often the questions you get asked really require you to think deeply about what it is you're doing yourself. You know, it's not the kind of questions necessarily you would get from your colleagues at the faculty meeting, but they're questions that really uh, get at the well, why are you doing this? What's the importance of it? What value is there in learning about this deep history? The reward from pairing a academic archaeologist, a research archaeologist, with a traditional Native American scholar is the exchange of ideas and perspectives that takes place. So you have people coming from very different intellectual traditions of understanding the past, understanding history, how things came to be the way they are. So to have the archaeological academic perspective then juxtaposed to the traditional perspective is very exciting. By and large, I've found people from Native American communities know more about what archaeologists do than archaeologists know about what they do.